Hi everybody, it's me Erica again. I'm coming down to show a few things and talk about a few things. It's been about a week since I posted so I thought I'll put something out there and stuff for everybody. Um, first thing I was going to show is, you know how everybody has been talking about, you know, Aldi's is selling yarn, Aldi's has this and that. Well, mine is a smaller one and I live in a smaller town so my town doesn't have as the stuff like, you know, all the other stores do. But um, they did have some of those um, kits, like those knitting and crochet kits. So I did pick up one of these. This is one of the crochet kits, gifts or whatever. It comes with actually quite a bit of stuff. And it comes with the pattern book and everything, too. It's kind of neat. And um, I'll open it up and show you guys what's inside of it and everything. So when you open it, it comes with three small skeins of yarn on this side, a uh, pink, a pink, a white, and a blue. And then it also comes with the easy, um, it's called easy home crochet gifts as um, things you can make and stuff. It's kind of neat. It's got like um, coasters, hats, gloves, cup cozies, things all like that. And then the box also has underneath it, it has a big skein of white and gray and it comes with a crochet hook and it comes with um, the needle to tie in your ends, too. So the book, I thought, was kind of neat. Um, it comes here like this. And it actually shows you, comes to the table, you know, the contents and stuff that's in it. And it actually shows some step-by-step -step guides. Like, here's a stitch guide. So it actually shows you some of the stitches. I thought that was pretty cool because I'm still a beginner. I admit I don't know all the stitches. And then here's... Some more stitches. So I think this is a really cool guide and it shows pictures and step by step and that's that's pretty cool. Here's more of the stitch guide. But then they got a nice big picture. You'll have to see the big, big picture. There's a hat and a pom-pom hat. This is a pom-pom beanie. And it gives the pattern to the pom-pom beanie. Um, they have some beautiful pictures in here too of all things. Like this is a heart garland. So it's got some really neat things. Look at this. Watermelon. That's pretty cool too. So they got some really neat things. This is a pineapple tea cozy. Looks like some granny square stitches. So that's pretty cool. And then, um, I don't know if you remember my last video, I said I had yarn from Italy. And, um, I'm kind of excited to show you. This is my specialty yarn that I'll never, ever, ever use. It is, um, it is made in Italy. Look at that. It is pretty cool. It is like a thinner yarn, but it's also like, if you look at it really close, it's got like skeins kind of winded together or twisted together. Really pretty, like, um, you know, blues and reds and yellows and just some really neat colors in there. I don't think I'll ever use that. I'm pretty sure some of you got that specialty yarn that you collect and you never use. Um, I also wanted to show you some other cool yarn that I got uh, probably over the summer at a flea market. Or it's a hand spun. Look at this one. It is hand spun with rabbit fur. When I went to the um, fair or the, I think it was a craft show maybe, she actually had the bunny there, showed how she uses the hair to spin. And this one, she dyed it too. She dyed it like a greenish and then she spun it. And she also put this really pretty, I don't know if you guys could tell. I feel like it's getting blurry a little bit. I'm going to back it up a little bit. If you could tell, it's got a little si silver specks in it. She winded some silver, not silver, I mean, sorry, gold specks in it. I don't know if you can see it. This is a pretty cool skein of yarn. This, I don't think, tell you the truth, I don't think I'll ever use this one. It's too pretty, and who knows if I could ever get one of these again. So it's one of those yarns that you kind of collect and save. You never know what you're going to find. The um, Italy ones that I got in there, um, I got that in one of those big bags that I get from Goodwill and stuff like that. I went to Goodwill this week, too. 
no bags, but that was okay because actually I probably need to chill because I still got like bags over here and over here that today I would like to work on getting it more organized and getting it where I want it. And then um, I got some bins or plastic totes too that I can start sorting some of them in. So really need to focus on trying to get my stash more clean and organized and where I need it to go. But I thought I would share the, the yarn with you guys. And then these kits are pretty cool. If you've gotten all these by you, check it out. They have the crochet ones. They have the knitting ones, too. And this was from my Aldi's grocery store. You never know what they're going to have. They actually been starting to expand and put more product and more stuff out and more crafts, like sometimes painting and toys and books and other things, you know, too. So it's pretty cool. But... Otherwise, that's about it. There's not much else. I haven't really been working on much of a project. I've been working on a scarf. Um, I'm pretty close to getting, actually getting it done. I've been working on an infinity scarf. Very close to getting it um, done. I think today I'm going to tie up the ends, get that done, so I can work on some other projects. And then hopefully by next week, I can show you a few other things that I've been working on and trying to get done too. All right. Well, thanks for watching and thanks for subscribing and being a part of my YouTube. I appreciate it. And everybody have a good weekend and a good day. And I will talk to you next time. Bye.